This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about a statics problem, CE 2301. This is a frame, and it's also an example of a two force member and how we use two force members to help solve these frames. Okay, this is the geometry. It's a frame composed of two parts, AB and BC. And 900 Newton force there applied on the top part of AB. And first thing to do is to uh, draw a free body diagram of it. And also we need to identify two force members whenever we can in frame analysis because it helps us solve the problem. Okay, AB is not a two force member because it has three points of application of force, the support at A, the pin at B, and the 900 Newton force. However, for, uh, member BC is a two force member because it only has two points of application of force, B and C. Therefore, the forces on BC, the reactions at each end must be collinear and we can use that geometry to help us solve the problem. Okay, so let, let's go over here and look at this two force member. Because of the geometry, geometry, this is a three, four, five angle that that thing makes. Therefore, um, reaction BX and BY also have to have that geometry of the 3, 4, 5. And they have to be in that direction or they could be in the opposite direction. But it has to be along this line of action. Similarly, if we were to look at the reaction at C, it would also be in that same line of action. Up and to the left or down and to the right. So, we can use that geometry the fact that the X component is three-fifths of B and the Y component is four-fifths of the total force B to say that because those are both equal to some function of B we can do all this math here uh, three B three-fifths B equals BX so B is equal to five-thirds just rearranging that equation same thing here with four-fifths of B is equal to BY, so B is equal to five-fourths BY. So we can just uh, say that B equals B and five-thirds BX equals five-fourths BY. So we can express BX as this function of BY, which simplifies down to three-fourths BY. Okay, back to my free body diagram. Uh, this is what it looks like, and it's important that I show that relationship uh, for the force at B being that in that line of action. Uh, number two, the problem, part of the problem was, what's the magnitude of the force acting on member AB at pin B? So, as with most of the statics problems that we're going to deal with, I want to sum moments about one of the reactions to eliminate as many unknowns as I can and so I'm going to choose A and eliminate AX and AY because they pass through that point and the moment I've assumed counterclockwise is positive is negative 900 because it's trying to rotate clockwise about point A times its moment arm of 2, 2 meters plus going back over here to my free body diagram BY, which is the up reaction, which is positive rotation counterclockwise times its moment arm of 2 plus 2 or 4, plus BX, also counterclockwise, so it's positive rotation, times 7, its moment arm. I can then kind of do a little multiplication and go get this multiplies out to negative, negative 1800 plus 4BY plus 7BX, but I'm going to substitute this equation I got from my two force member for BX, 
which is equal to 3 fourths by into this equation. So I get this form, which is equal to negative 1800 plus 4 by plus 21 fourths by. Now I've got just one equation, one unknown. Um, I can add up the by terms and I get 1800 and put the 1800 on the other side of the equal sign. I get 1800 equals to 25 fourths by. Therefore, by is equal to 4 25ths of 1800 is equal to 288 pounds. Bx, I knew from my two-fourths member, is equal to three-fourths of 288, so it's 216 pounds. My positive signs indicate that I've assumed the right direction for B and Bx and By, therefore. So B is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares. 216 squared plus 288 squared is equal to 360 pounds. So that's the answer for number two. Probably would have been nice if I had drawn a little arrow up and to the uh, left to indicate that that's the direction of that. Do that on your test or on your homework. Number three, what's the vertical force at pin A on member AB? Well, that's a simple sum of forces in the y direction where positive is up. AY, which is positive up by my assumption, minus 900 newtons plus 288, which is the BY force that I got from up here. So AY is equal to 900 minus 288 is equal to 612 pounds up, meaning my assumption, the positive sign, meaning my assumption of up was correct. Finally, number four, the horizontal force at pin A on member AB. That's AX is what I'm looking for. Some forces in the X direction, positive to the right is gives us AX minus the only other uh, X force is this BX force which is 216 pounds so AX is equal to 216 pounds to the right